I found it very interesting that of all God of War games, Ragnarok seems to draw the most amount of inspiration from real ancient Greek literature. For one, there is a matter of the prophecy or oracle according to which if Kratos goes ahead and kills Heimdall, then his own death awaits him ultimately. The same is true for Achilles, where he is prophesied to kill Hector, and when he does, he will in fact have opened up the pathway to his own death. Both of these oracles of murder and death, on top of that, are predicated on the idea of protecting or avenging someone beloved. In Achilles' case, Patroclus, in Kratos' case, obviously, Atreus. And there's the matter of Cleos Aftiton, which means unwilling glory, pretty much the center message of the Iliad, which also ends God of War Ragnarok, where Kratos is brought to tears by an image of himself being venerated and finally glorified.